Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Tuesday afternoon? Well, I hope. As it is Action Tuesday, we will be eventually getting to Metal Gear Solid, an official PC version of the original Metal Gear Solid. Um, but in the meantime, in the time before then, um, let us uh, get into some uh, uh, Dark Souls 2. We are... Now into the, oh, interesting. Uh, we are now into basically uh, the last DLC, I, as far as I can tell anyway, which is the Ice Castle, where it has been implied that a great chaos is frozen at the bottom of it. Uh, we finished up the Fume Night um, last stream, basically. And uh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to get into some icy adventures uh, today. Unfortunately, we also found out something kind of sad, which was very upsetting for me. Um, that uh, the, <laughs> the bandit great axe is pretty bad. <laughs> it's shorter than the regular axe, which is odd. Um, it doesn't have pancake capabilities, which is which sucks. Um, in fact, if you hit something and stagger it backwards, it staggers the thing outside of your follow-up range. You can't like chain lock, chain stun them with with the great great bandit axe or uh, bandit great axe or whatever, which is super frustrating to me. Um, so unfortunately, we were not going to be using that. Um, we will be sticking with, I guess, the Bandit Axe and the, uh, Giant, uh, Giant Club, or the Great Club. For now, anyway. <sighs> yeah, but basically right at the last of the last stream we died after making a little bit of inroads into, uh, into this area. Um, if I remember correctly, I died sort of in an unfortunate way, which I didn't care for. Um, some sort of, like getting chain stunned by like six things at once now last time I think we went that way maybe we go this way this time and see what's over here what oh okay oh are we going like straight into a boss fight Oh, this looks like a boss fight. Without the sign? I mean, do you want the sign of the king? Invisible. Oh, great. Ava, the king's pet. Okay, so. Oh, it's not invisible. It's an. It's a mostly transparent lion. Wow. Okay. Hmm. So wait, does that mean if I put on? Oh. What? Why is that what happened? That was not even remotely close to the correct series of combination of things. Um, if I put on the king's ring, will you all be, like, cool and stuff? Like, if I wear this, will will I, will I you all be cool? Can everybody be, just be cool right now? I, I, would, I would appreciate it if you all, like, super cool. Try this one more time. I think I lost like most of a level over there, but whatever. I mean, who cares at this point? At this point, this is just decimal point improvements, right? Okay, now I have the sign of the king. So you're all gonna be cool, right? No? Not 
not see this thing. Oh, grapple attacked. Alright. <laughs> Welcome, I swear I'm not an elf. Disappointed no statues attacked you? Nope. We're just being attacked by an invisible lion creature. Apparently. Which which said, hey, you don't have the sign of the king, which I do. Um, and proceeded to attack me. So, I'm guessing what I'm going to have to do is I have to go the other direction. Find an item that either is the sign of the king or... Or... Uh, lets me see the lion creature. So, or what it'll do, it'll get rid of the snow. Like, all this ice effect. And then, um... I'll be able to see the lion because of that. What lion recognizes a symbol? Well, presumably an invisible, like, an invisible magical lion might legally be required to respect symbols. Only from a legal perspective, though. Also, did you say Steve the lion creature? No, the invisible lion creature. Where... Sir? Where are you going? I'm over there. God. But I swear I'm not an elk. How are you doing? You having a good Tuesday? Yeah, we determined that also these these Icemen are resistant to R2s. Well, I heard Steve. No, I don't think it's Steve the Lion. Not that I'm aware of. That would be super interesting if his name was Steve. I'm well in bed. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's what? About 10.30 there? Makes sense. Did you have a good day at, at work or whatever you did today? Is it Udi season? Yeah, we are deep in Udi season territory now. I wish my character could tame his weapon, but he really can't. Okay. He really likes to just swing in wild, random directions a lot. It is definitely one of the, the, the worst parts about this weapon. Is his inability to swing it in the direction I'm looking. I don't know what happens. Hold on. Let me switch over to... I'm still so sad about that. Let's switch over to the bandit axe and see how that does. Work was strenuous, had a confused patient honk my breast, but it's okay because I have three days off now. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, that Yeah, that doesn't sound like the best, best time. Oh, good. We can stagger them with the bandit axe. That's good. Okay. Not all hope is lost, then. Really? You can just uh, power through that, huh? But yeah, that sounds like a not great day. Are you doing anything big with your three days off? Taking a trip? Hopping on the old tram and going someplace or something? Turn around, idiot. Backstabbed. She was actually trying to pinch me because we s sectioned her. So we tried a more friendly approach. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that sounds like a very confused series of events. So instead of pinching and being mean, she tried to be nice by like fondling you against your own will, huh? That that doesn't I don't think that translates as a one to one. Oh, pick up an item. Hey, we got an ice rapier. Let's go. Magic rapier? Um, where would they put an ice rapier? Nope. Um, I assume it's just like a regular rapier, but it has, oh no, no, it actually is special. Rapier wielded by sorceress of, sorcerers of Elsam Lois, imbued with a magic that is released with a strong attack. A great protective wall was erected to protect Elam Lois from the encroaching chaos, and these sorcerers were among its defenders. Special effects, strong attack. Cool. 
Seeing grandma, grandmother tomorrow, and New Japan Pro Wrestling on Sunday. So you're going to wait. So it's in England, or you're going to Japan? Um, she isn't. She isn't very good at being nice. No, clearly not. Or at least her concept of nice, nice is very different than yours. What is and isn't nice is very different. Oh, good. We can one-shot the dogs. That, that's convenient, actually. It's in England. We went to one of their shows a few years ago. Oh, nice. I didn't know you were a pro wrestling fan. Um, in my youth, I was. I haven't really kept up with it much. Um, but I, I was, I've, I'm a fan. I will occasionally pop in and see what they're up to. My partner is, but I enjoy it. Oh, I think I do remember you mentioning something like that. Um... Jeez, do we really need this many of them? Also, are you supposed to be stopping the encroachment of the chaos? Why, why are you not? Man, these the short weapons are just so brutal when you're fighting stuff that like such long weapons. Yeah, I haven't been to an actual like show in a long time. I think the last time I went to one was like a local one my buddy knew about. Um, I haven't been to like in a, a like a pro level one in years, not since I was a kid. Wow, that guy was a jerk. Tamahiro Ishii is everything I want in my life. I just invite him over like a weird uncle to family gatherings. Ah, I'm sure if you held up a sign in the crowd, he'd probably say something about it. Oh my God. It makes me wonder how many of them actually like speak English and stuff. Or if it's like when, when you know, WWE goes over there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is a lot of enemies just piled on top of each other. This is the third time they've done this to me now. I know quite a few don't. That's fair. It's like when I when the when the WWE goes over there, I'm sure most of them don't know Japanese. Or at least not enough to like have a conversation. Maybe enough to say a couple like phrases or whatever, but None of the shows in English, if I recall, even announcers. Really? They don't even do special English announcers in other countries. That's that's kind of surprising, actually. I find that kind of odd. I uh, disagree with that ruling. And the dog? Really? And okay, I get chain stunned because that guy apparently, even though he didn't hit me, he got to hit me, I guess. All right. Adds to the charm. <laughs> okay. I guess that's fair. I guess it's really hard to tell what's going to happen next if you can't hear them like talking. So when some random person shows up in like a superhero banana outfit, you really find it surprising because you did not expect a superhero banana outfit. I tell you what. Um... Really would like to find a shortcut now because having to fight through like 30 guys in a row is is really obnoxious Really would appreciate finding a, a shortcut It wasn't fun in the dragon temple. It wasn't fun in the ice for or the fire forge thing It is really not fun here either Really wish they'd stop it It's just not fun. Oh, another ice rapier. We can power stance them now. <laughs> now the question is, do you have a finishing move that you like? That's the real question. Because at some point, 
Two of his finish holds have the phrase Brain Buster in them. Oh, okay. Brain Buster is a pretty classic, uh, uh, painful looking maneuvers. <laughs> I was typing that as you asked. Yeah, it was right on point. Okay. Don't really care for these dogs much. Much like in real life where I don't care for animals much. I also don't care for these dogs. Can I just run by them? Nope. It looks like I'm required to fight the dogs. Oh, wait. No. Okay, they lost. Wait. They sort of lost interest in me? Okay. Feels a little silly, but... Hmm. The man has me... The man has many slap-offs. Yeah, chest slapping comp... Uh, like, back and forth is a pretty funny thing to see in the... in... in wrestling. It's a very different take on a concept of, of a combo attacks. Yeah, they just all become instantly more. Oh my god, okay. Oh. Everything about this is absolutely garbage. I just, this falls back on that. What were they thinking? Because this isn't fun. <laughs> this is just tedious, like, work. It's just a straight line with more, like, five enemies on top of each other over and over again. Like, they couldn't figure out a way to make the AI good on regular enemies, so they just said, well, we'll just triple the amount of them, and that'll be, that'll be the equivalent. It's like, that's not how that works. It might work in that it makes it harder, but it doesn't work in that it's not fun. How did that guy drop an ice rapier? He has a spear. I challenge the the drop notions. See, then the worst part is, is the only other weapon I have that would probably do more damage to this is the stupid dragon's tooth thing. And that's not going to do me any better. Because it's just going to be as heavy. It might have slightly more damage, but that's about it. Yeah, it makes me sad how, how far the WWE uh, modules have fallen. My buddy bought the most recent one. Because he was kind of interested in it for nostalgia reasons. And he, and he was having a lot of fun with it. And then one day he came in and all of his created wrestlers, all like 50 of them, were corrupted and he could no longer use them for anything. He looked online and found out that it was just a known bug that that uh, the company who makes it refuses to fix. And there's not really much you can do about it. You can try a couple of things and maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But this is a known bug for multiple generations now that they just will not fix for some reason. Cool. Really hate this. <laughs> Which is sad because I really wanted the, this new one to, to be good. That how did that hit me? Uh, I was either dodging or I should have been staggered. I don't. I'm really, really frustrated with that too. The well, you. You were hit, but you were dodging, so you weren't hit thing. It just feels really cheap. <laughs> and then the fact that they just have, you know, <laughs> unlimited long-range attacks. <sighs> That's always just not fun. Yeah, I'm curious to see if they've ever done... I know they did the thing where you get to play as some of the boss creatures. 
Because it makes me wonder if they've ever done any of the... Um, I don't know why my character didn't dodge there, but alright. Um, if they've done any of the... Uh, putting stamina limits and mana limits on enemies and, and stuff. Any of the stuff to get rid of all the nonsense. All the most egregious garbage. I wonder if they've fixed any of that. Oh, but I started my milk. Are you going to be visiting your grandmother the whole time, or? Like, all three days, or are you just going to be there for a day? No. I think this was a dead end, though. Yeah, there's, like, two of these ice ninjas. Oh, yeah, here's the chests that are frozen. I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do. Oh, I thought maybe he would break maybe if they got hit or something. Just tomorrow, sorting out, out her power of turning and clipping her dog's nails. Equally pressing matters. Um, sure, sure. I don't know. That first one seems mildly more important to me, but I don't. I don't know how you prioritize your your uh, events. So, hopefully, it's at least a nice dog. Cool. We attacked in a random direction instead of the direction I was looking. Love it. I love when that happens. It's my favorite thing, everybody. Don't get it twisted. My favorite thing is definitely when my character attacks in a random direction instead of the one I'm looking, at, which is usually at an enemy. Poorly? I prioritize poorly? Oh no! That's unfortunate. Can I backstab you? I can't. Oh, well, I guess bonk! The mighty bonk! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna take any more, like, my next set of vacation. I was thinking maybe do something for Halloween. Take like a Monday, Tuesday off. Since Halloween falls on a... Wow, you got to hit me. Huh? Okay, that didn't, didn't look like that for me, but all right. Oh, okay. You can apparently see me from way over there through all this blizzard. Cool. That's not unfun at all. I'm not looking forward to whenever these snow ninja people wake up. It's gonna be its own problem of that, I'm sure. Really? Okay. Don't know why you didn't die after two, but all right. Ah, we have some sort of, oh, we have another one of these cultist guys. The ones with the markings all over their skin. I don't know what else to call them besides the cultists, so. But yeah, maybe take like two days off for Halloween and I don't know, do some Halloween streaming. Because it's a Monday and Tuesday. So Monday I could do something different. I don't know what, but Monday I could do something different. And then Tuesday we will probably have whatever's after Metal Gear Solid, I assume. Kind of hard for me to say for sure. Can I backstab you? Oh, I can. Well, call me surprised. I wouldn't thought I could backstab that. I'm not sure why you're facing the other direction. But success! Old Bell Helm. Oh, I wonder if that's anything like the Old Bell Weapon. Uh, what? Yeah, Weapon. Metal Gear li Liquid? What about Liquid Snake? We'll be fighting him at some point, I think, in this. Or in Metal Gear Solid, I should say, not this. But, but yeah, Metal Gear Liquid is definitely a thing. I don't know if you know that, but... Okay, so... We came up that way. There's that way or this other building. Oh, there's a bonfire in here. Well, that's convenient. Welcome, Mika. Is it? 
No gas, though. But there is Solidus. Yes, there is Solidus. I still think Psycho Mantis. Is it a newer thing? I think it's in the second one. In the second one, they have a, a second... There's Metal Gear Rex, which is the main Metal Gear of this one. Welcome, by the way. I can't kill anyone, Ika. Um... And then in the second one, I think they actually add Metal Gear Liquid, which is like a manta ray underwater one. I guess spoilers, but... Um, and and the evil bad guy of Metal Gear Solid, the one we're playing, is uh, Liquid Snake, as opposed to Solid Snake, and then eventually Solidus Snake, which is also in the sequel. Oh, welcome, Ika. I hope you're having a good day. Oh my god, he's so weird. He's so big and chonky. And now he's... Yeah, Ica, we were talking about pro wrestling. Uh, I swear I'm not an elk is going to a pro wrestling uh, show. I remember enjoying the modules, but I recall very little of their actual content. That's fair. The stories are pretty insane and all over the place and told in very interesting ways, but... Kind of hard to follow if you're not paying a lot of attention. Or even like me, if you are paying a lot of attention and just still don't necessarily understand completely what's going on. Because they are pretty obtuse and full of, like, very randomized descriptions of stuff. Hitting lots of boxes, yeah. We're definitely going to be doing some of that today. If I have anything to say about it, we're doing that. Need to shower, be back in a bit. All right, no problem, Mika. Have fun. Enjoy your shower. All right. Oh wait, secret? No, no secret? Oh, I really felt like there'd be a secret there. Was it walk-in? I mean, oh, it's not, oh, oh, you threw an ice lance at me. Kind of a jerk, huh? Can I backstab you? No, but I can stagger you, which means I can defeat you in pitched combat. So I was just asking internet people what kinds of showers they have. Oh, yeah, I have a, I mean, I have one of the, like, safety showers, or it's, where the lip on it's only, like, five or six inches tall. I don't actually have any bathtubs in my house anymore. They were removed uh, back when my parents lived here uh, for because they didn't want to have to trip on them. So I don't actually have any bathtubs anymore. Just basic stand-in showers. I want a claw-footed bath in the middle of the room on a slightly raised platform with lion head taps. Wow, fancy. Fancy. I could go for that. I could see that being cool, though. Oh. Oh, we made it here. We've made it all the way back around. This door does open from this side. Oh, lots of treasure chests. That is the dream fair. Oh, look, a mimic one. There's a Mimic one, and then there's three regular, four regular ones. Wow. Very curious to see if we're actually going to be able to get these things unfrozen, or if they're just for visual effect. Oh, hi. How's it going? You missed. But I didn't. Stomp. Um, what is your dream bath slash shower? Ooh. Um... Hmm, that's a good question. I think for mine, it would almost probably be something more like a hot tub sort of thing, almost. I really like hot tubs. That's kind of my go-to, but I don't know. I've never really thought about a perfect shower or perfect bath or whatever. It was never something I really put much thought into, actually. I have to be in the room mood, the right mood for a hot tub. Oh, I'm a big fan. I probably wouldn't use it much in the summer, but if I had a hot tub here at my house or at, at the house, I guess I should say, um, 
the uh, I would use that thing all winter. Only ever been in two, really. Oh. No, I've definitely. Anytime we go to a pool or something for like someone's birthday or whatever, I always try to hit the hot tub up at least a little bit. Love me a good hot tub. Oh hi. What are you doing? Waiting to ambush me? You're crazy. It's another one of you, huh? He would be really intimidating if you could track me when you did your attacks. Eight green blossoms. Yeah, no, I like me a good hot tub. Anytime I go to a pool or anything like that, I always try to get the hot tub. At least a little bit, just for a little while. Um, I don't know. I just find it extremely relaxing. Like, I can just sit there. Well, that's unfortunate. I wonder if that has something, like, maybe underneath this, back on the bottom, there's something down there? Yeah, it looks like there's a floor underneath it. Maybe we can drop down if we go back to the beginning. Is it poor etiquette to eat in a hot tub? I would say it's probably poor etiquette to eat in a hot tub if it's a public hot tub. If it's one you own at home, I think you could probably okay to go for it. Because then if it gets messy, you're the one who has to clean it up. Not like a sandwich, but fruit slices, maybe? Oh, that would probably be okay. If it's something that doesn't leave crumbs or debris around, you're probably okay. But if it leads, like, stuff in the water, like... Oh, come on, come on. More dogs, really? Uh, Did we get a triple? Dang. I didn't expect a triple. But there's another dog, really? And somehow that didn't hit. I'm not sure. Oh, and they dropped an item. Soul of a lost undead. Well, I guess a dog can be an undead, sure. Um, but yeah, I think as long as it doesn't make too much of a mess in the hot tub, you're probably fine. That's a no to my hot tub, my hot tub kebab idea then. I mean, if it's your own hot tub, hot tub, then go for it. But if it's a public hot tub, I would say that's probably kind of rude. Why does my character refuse to dodge those? I don't understand. He just absolutely refuses to dodge anytime that's coming at me and I hit the dodge button. What a wait. Oh wait, wait, a kebab for you. Wait, is your kebab for you the actual just uh, meat on a stick thing? Or is that something different? I don't, I can never remember. We, we've talked about kebabs before, but I can't remember which kind it is. Because I know over there, kebabs are very common, whereas here, that's kind of a rare thing. Right, it's the shaved chunk of meat thing. That's what it was, yeah. Hmm. That would probably be okay in a hot tub because it's just what juices are the only thing that's gonna leak. So you, it wouldn't really make much of a, it wouldn't leave any debris in the hot tub, which is your biggest concern, I would think. Now we can just power through their shields. If your brute force isn't working, you're not doing it hard enough. Crimson water. Ooh, barbecue wings. That would probably be okay, because then all you're going to do is drop, like, barbecue sauce in there. That would probably be all right. And again, you want to be careful. You're not, you're not pouring hot... Whoops, dropped a bone in there. I guess that's true. Are you kidding me? I have to fight another one of these invisible lions? Really? I don't want to fight another invisible lion. The first one's already bad enough. Alright, what are we going to do up here now? Oh, it's a body. Pick up item? Eye of the Priestess is a key item. Interesting. Hmm. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, lots of people drink when they're in a hot tub, so. Ah, allows one to see the unseen. The Eye of the First Priestess who watched over Elam Lois allows one to see the unseen. All the great priestesses replaced one of their birth eyes with this, turning it after their term was complete, presumably when they died. Okay. So cool. Presumably this means now I can go and see the invisible lion on that other side. I assume. It does not open from this side. What? What? It also makes me wonder if... Oh, you're like a NPC. Oh, but you are not immune to pancaking. And now you're dead. Um... But, uh... Yeah, I mean, lots of people drink in the hot tub. I don't see why you couldn't eat, if you're careful, in the hot tub a bit. Some light snacks or something. Five alluring skulls and a, a, a skeptic's spice. Ah, this has got to be a boss fight, right? Come on. really don't want to lose a whole level's worth of XP. Oh, it's not. Okay. Oh, but it is a bonfire. Okay. A bonfire that is that is guarded by things. Okay. Well, we'll go back to town. But yeah, I can just... Like, I think my... I guess my dream... Okay, so I guess my dream... It's not really a bath, but like hot tub setup would be... Hot tub in the backyard. A nice um, patio awning thing over it. Maybe a nice fan out there. Um, probably in the evening with a nice TV and a little bit of a sound system. So I can watch TV in the hot tub on the patio and relax. And then I have like a Red's like Wicked Apple Ale. And that's, I think that's the dream for me. Is that I think that's my dream of, of hot tub, tub ownership. I'm not really worried about my shower bathtub section. As long as it's big enough that I can stand in it comfortably, I don't care that much about that. But um, for uh, hot tubbing, I think that's my dream. I've always liked the idea of the outdoor patio with like an actual decent couch and, and like love seat and a TV. But make sure it's well, well like protected from the weather. And then that way in like basically from probably like late October all the way to the beginning of March, I could just sit outside and watch TV or or like play something on the PlayStation or whatever, but to be outside where it's nice out. I knew you'd be back. You knew I'd be back, Grandma. For reals, Grandmama? Pick up one of these. Um... I guess I don't, you don't really have anything else I need, Grandma. Sounds relaxing. In my mind, it's it's the most relaxing. It's just super nice. Like, I don't think I don't think there's anything else I like need to buy from anybody. Is the problem? Again, we can. I guess we can finish leveling up the bandit axe, but like I don't think at this point I'm gonna switch weapons to anything else. Do I have any other really cool? Because at this point, anything else I want to use, I'm probably going to have to... I can keep his great axe. I mean, that, that one's got some reach on it, at least. That's a 120 plus 167. I mean, we've been all in on strength, so I don't know. Like, I, could, I guess I could level this up. It gives me resistance to magic and fire. It has a little bit less wacky moveset to it. It's a little slower wind-up, though, too. One. 
Because this has the full spin through attack. Oh, I guess it's about the same as the overhead on the Great Club. I think Ica drowned. What? He's just relaxing in the shower. He had a rough day at work. No reason he can't relax in the shower. Oh, the Sanctum Mace poison poisons me, doesn't it? Oh, the scaling's different because it's dark. Because it's dark and foreboding. Huh. This twin blade thing is a strength base? Oh, that's very silly. <laughs> okay, that, that's borderline useless. What a silly move. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a bizarre move set for that weapon. All right. Hmm. How very strange. Uh, well, let's go finish leveling up the bandit axe, and then we'll we'll be good, probably. Very dance-like? Yeah. We're basically doing a baton twirling routine with that thing. Which is impressive considering how heavy it is, but... Wait, what is that sword? Oh, that's the possessed armor sword. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, the possessed armor sword. Of legend. Um... Yeah, let's finish leveling this up, I guess. Boom. There we go. Bandit Axe. Max level. Let's go. <laughs> Crypt of the Dark Soul Dancer? Should play this on a dance mat? How hard would that be? How would you even do that, though? Because you use... You use more than eight buttons. Because you have up and down, left to right for your movement. And you could dodge. But you wouldn't... I guess you would have to set dodge and attack. Heal. And I guess interact on there. <laughs> for the attacks, the ring fit ring. Wow, that would be something. You're not wrong. That would be really interesting to see. That would take so much practice, though, to get that to work right. Oh, man. Yeah, that would take some practice. Huh. We're still missing a few areas. How odd. Okay, wait, so if I go back to this, can I see this stupid uh, lion now? And the only reason I know it's a lion is because they kind of showed it to us in the out overlay when it killed me that one time. <laughs> You'd finish it looking like Terry Crews? Yeah. Well, I would be super lean. I would be super lean, but Terry Crews is also super buff. So I'd have to, like, I'd have to wear, like, 10-pound wrist and ankle weights. While doing it, so I'm also like working my muscles. He'd probably advertise that module for free. Yeah, he would. He seems like the kind of kind of guy who would enjoy a wacky commercial like that. All right, tiger or lion or whatever. I'm assuming it's a lion. All I need is the crown. Oh, it is a lot. Oh, wait. Oh, it is a tiger. Weird. Oh, you're firing things at me. Okay. Oh, those are weirdly fast. Bonk. Bonk the cat. Bonk the cat. Bonk the cat. Bonk the cat. I uh, don't know what you're doing. Oh, you have a you have a explosion attack. I didn't count on that. That timing was really bad, but oh, we're doing this again. Oh, those are weirdly fast. 
Uh, I disagree with that ruling. Okay. Wow, this thing has a lot of hit points. But this would probably be weak to fire, right? I think I've got some pine resins left. I'm trying to think, maybe we're better off switching over to our newly upgraded bandit axe. I'll get two attacks for the one I was getting on the on the uh, Great Club. So, cat's fear water. Well, this is an ice an ice tiger. I don't think it's scared of water. It's mostly it's like extra water compared to a normal tiger. Plus, I don't think I have a. I don't have a. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I don't think I can add water effect to my weapon. Not quite Pokemon like that. Alright. Tiger. Okay. I mean, I just stood there and let it attack me, so disagree with that ruling. Luckily, the healing continued, so... Oh, yeah, it's taking some extra damage there, I think. From the fire. I thought I got the roll off. Oh, he just whiffed. Actual whiffage. Stab him right in his, in his belly. Nope. Oh, I thought I I thought that would miss. Okay. There it is. There it is. Third try, not bad. Try get it in a carrier, it will hide. Well, I don't know where I'd get one that big. I'd have to get like a... Jeez, I'd have to get like an earth mover and like put a cage around it. But hey, we got a cool... What's that, about a... 110,000 souls or so? Miss another door somewhere? I guess not. Okay. I thought maybe we were going that way, but nope. But hey, defeated! And all it took was one, uh... One good old, uh, fire, um, resin. One good old charcoal resin to get us through. I guess switching over to the axe was definitely the right call. <laughs> All right, what do we got going on here? We're in the Grand Cathedral. And they've offered us yet another um, bonfire. Dang. I think it means there's only one left to discover? Though I was right about us going and finding a way to fight that tiger by going the other direction. What? Okay, um... Like... This is the thing that... Yeah. So, I mean, we could start doing some pyromancy, I guess, if we wanted. I don't... I still isn't enough to know a single spell, but... Um... I think I'm just gonna go with extra endurance. I feel like we're constantly running out of endurance, so. I wonder if I had a laser light spell, if I could distract it. But a laser light spell would have distracted it, right? Oh, this is a different area. This is the Grand Cathedral, which only has a single spot in it. 
This other side has multiple. Okay. Okay, that's one of the three other areas we haven't been to then. Interesting. Oh, do, do, do we want to do some food lore while you're still here? I swear I'm not an elk. I didn't do anything super fancy today myself. Um, I went to a Carl's Jr., which is traditionally a hamburger place here. But in this case, I got a uh, their um, like hand-battered chicken sandwich thing. It's actually pretty good. Not the best one I've ever had. Unfortunately, that's still um, Chick-fil-A, but... Oh. Takeaway pizza? Nice. What what are you what are your toppings? I need to know your toppings and then we're gonna have a discussion about something else that has to do with pizza toppings. This land is barren. None? Just a cheese pizza. Cursed by the old chaos. It gave birth to atrocities, and the people fled in fear. Until our Lord, the Ivory King. Okay. So cheese and tomato. I have simple taste. So that's fair. I I that I think you're the second person now I know indirectly who only likes basic cheese pizzas. That doesn't like toppings. See, I was gonna ask you what you what your feelings on uh, pineapple was. I know it's a little passe. We're a little beyond that debate now, but for a long time there it was raging on whether or not. Uh, Pineapple was okay on pizza. My dear Lord, a most true king. It was with his magnificent soul that he built a Leon Royce and contained the spread of chaos. Interesting. But the chaos would not be sated, and the king gave his own. Inevitably, the king was drained of vigor and plunged into the chaos his oh. The Leon Lois was frozen in time. Mm, I say it's frozen in ice, but all right. I remain here to contain the chaos, honoring my lord's wishes. One day, he uh, probably not. There is nothing here save that accursed flame. Oh? It is not okay. It is never okay. Wow. Wow, you feel strongly about this, huh? I mean, I, I disagree, but... I mean, I'm I'm willing to respect your opinion on on pineapple. I don't usually like pineapple on my pizza. That's not usually my go-to, but I've had it before and it does not bother me. Usually, my go-to is like a um, like a seasoned chicken with uh, mushrooms or or sometimes like maybe just a sausage and black olives thing it kind of depends on my mood i have but one wish and my dear lord might be freed from that unspeakable chaos i have the strength to help him myself but perhaps one such Does it get me the crown I need? Sure. Kind visitor, I thank you. Let me open the path to chaos. And please, do all you can.
Dang. Nice. Al Alisan's seal is undone and the winds of Elarium something. You were wrong on all of those things? Wow. Wow. Oh, whoops. I didn't realize there was more. I thought she was done talking. Many of Aleonoris's faithful knights followed their lord into the chaos. But not one of them returned. The kingdom's dutiful subjects waited patiently for his homecoming. But it was too long a wait to bear. The knights of Aleonoris await a new king. Are you asking me to become your new king? One who will guide them into chaos. Wait. What? Many of Aleonoris, but not one of them. The kingdom's dutiful son. But it was too late. The knights of Aleonoris, one who will guide them. I don't know about that last sentence. You ruined the weather, now it's going to get all touristy? I mean, kind of, right? It's like people who take vacations up to, um, Alaska. Vessel shield. The vessel shield. Okay, so now what does it look like outside then? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just... No fog or whatever now. Alright, so there's like a bajillion treasure chests in the other direction. Can I just go get those now? Other than the one that's become a mimic, of course. I don't want that one. You can keep that one. Oh, yeah, apparently there's also a way to fight, like, a ghost to get this guy's, like, sword. Not sure how to do it, though. I think it's probably faster to go this way. Am I right in saying that there is currently a monster of a hurricane in Canada? In Canada? Not that I'm aware of. Um... There's one in Florida that I'm aware of. The one I keep I, I keep hearing about is hit hit the Bahamas and stuff and is working its way towards Florida right now. I don't know about Canada. Someone was talking in Discord earlier. Oh. Huh, yeah, off the top of my head. I'm not familiar with that one. Not saying it it's not happening. I just I'm not familiar with that. I mean, I don't keep up with a ton of Canadian news, unfortunately, um, I guess, but... Oh, you have... Oh yeah, look at that. They're just actually... Just weird ice ninja women. Cool. I will go it when I rega regain the strength. Struggling to keep my eyes open at the moment. Oh, well, go to bed, silly. You're not going to miss much. Well, come on down here so I can hit you with this giant stick. I can bonk you back to wherever you came from. I am in bed. I know you're in bed. That's why I said go to sleep. <laughs> Cut him off. Ow. Still better than you. Take that. Miss you dying in silly and unavoidable ways. Well, that's what the YouTube is for. So that you can always be caught up on the silly and... The silly and avoidable ways that I die. Much to the, to the enjoyment of you and your, your howdy partner. I forgot the R2 doesn't do anything to these people. These creatures are not... Not, not injured by the R2s. For reasons. Okay, where were... I'm trying to remember where all the treasure chests I've seen are at. Okay, this one was... Yeah, this does not open this from the side. Um, 
I'm gonna disagree with that ruling that that hit me, but no, it's okay, he's dead. He only got one little hit on me, so it's okay. Rampant, or Rampart Golem Shield. Ooh. They have a special custom name. They are Rampart Golems. Interesting. Oh, I didn't go that way last time, did I? I think... Ah, this is it here. This had... Whoop! Oh! Almost got me. Almost got me. Almost got me, Odell. Just the tip. Just the tip almost got me. I don't know if anybody remembers that clip. That's an old clip by today's standards. Do you have the home shopping network over there? Is that a thing that exists? Wait, is it just you in here? I thought I remember there being dogs and stuff. That must be the one further up. Okay, that one was a mimic. I remember that. Now the question is, are any of these other ones a mimic? And what are they even gonna put in these? Bright bug, two bright bugs. We have tele shopping, if that's the same thing. That sounds about like the same thing. Okay, so now I'm curious. Bonfire aesthetics, something we're not gonna bother with. Um So here we have we one of the things that, that you can get on the home shopping network is um they had a whole show devoted to selling knives to people. And it was all kinds of knives, like little folding knives, like a medium length, like hunting knife. You had uh, like full length katanas and stuff. That sounds tedious. Welcome back, Ika. You can help me with this. You're familiar with the home shopping network, right, Ika? And like the knife show on there? That sounds tedious. Well, I mean, yes and no. Not something anybody in their right mind watches. Ah, okay. I don't know. Okay, so so there's this clip online from years ago, like probably 15 years ago, legitimately, um, of <laughs> of actually it might be older than that. Oh, Ika, yeah. What's your dream bath slash shower setup? Mine was more of a hot tub. I don't really care that much about what my shower is like, long as it's big enough for me to stand in it, clean like calmly. It's not too too compact. I remembered you were a mimic jerk. Now you're dead. Katarina armor. Oh my god, is that pump is that onion knight armor? Really? It's what was in there? On armor shaped like an onion. This armor appears rather absurd, but in multi-phase construction is in fact quite practical as it effectively deflects physical attacks. The old tales speak of a brave Katarina knight wearing this armor as they rush courageously into battle. Wow. Wow. But uh yeah, so this show on the on the um home shopping network that sold only knives. Basically only knives. Occasionally you get like knife stands or something, but the vast majority of the time it was just knives. There's this old clip from like 15 years ago where they have a katana and it's a cheap katana. It's like a $15 katana. I actually own one of these katanas at home. Um, but they're super cheap katanas. And he's talking about how strong they are. And he takes one and he just hits a piece of wood that's sitting on one of the tables. And when he hits it, the end of it snaps off probably like a good... I don't know, five to six inches of, of metal snap off of it and fly across the room and catch the co-host in the arm with it. And she's like, oh, 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 you got me, Odell. It just got me. The tip just got me. And he kind of like staggers off camera a little bit, but you can still hear him talking about like in pain and stuff. And it's just this funny video from a long time ago. He was okay. He needed like stitches or something, but... It was just this really funny video from like 15 years ago. I love to have any decent bathtub. Unfortunately, my place only has a shower. The rent is too good for me to try switching though. Plus the decent neighbors and stuff too. Yeah, yeah. I feel like a katana is something I'd want to spend money on for quality. Yeah. The cheap katanas are fun because they're just something you can run around and like hit stuff with. 
But they're not something you'd want to try to defend your, like, life with. Um, as someone who owns a, several, several cheap weapons... Get your neighbors out of your bathtub? No, no, no. He's saying is he just has good neighbors. Oh. Where did you come from? What? what? You weren't here before. Almost a shirt. Wow, okay. You can swing that weapon stupidly fast. America. Thinking. Cheap weapons to run around and hit stuff with? Yeah, 100%. That's what they're good for. That's basically all they're good for, is you just, you go buy a bunch of fruit that's on sale, or a bunch of melons, or whatever, and then you run around, like in your backyard, hitting them, pretending to be a ninja. That's a lot of, that's basically all the cheap ones are good for. Um, that's about it, really. Um, I mean, if you're really desperate, I'd like a melon cutting katana. Yeah, that's basically all they're for. If you're really desperate, you can get, like, uh, uh, blunt ones. And then you can use them for, like, combat if you want to, like, film your own fight scenes. That way no one really gets hurt from them. But most of your cheap ones, anything under... Probably anything under a couple hundred bucks is not going to be worth fighting with. Um, and if you get one that is worth fighting with, you, that's like the cheapest is going to probably be like 200 to $300. And that's going to be like the most bare bones katana of all time. What are those screams? They're very upset that I bonked them with a very large stick. Um, but yeah, if I can figure out a way to do a remote stream, I will happily bring in all my cheap katanas and we can use one of the like outdoor seating areas around the building and I can just cut up fruit for you all if you want. And I can show off all the wacky swords I bought as a teenager. If I, if I'm assaulting somebody with a weapon, I would want it to be a cane. A cane sword or just a regular old cane? Whoa. Okay. So, apparently unfreezing this area caused a bunch of new people to spawn here. I kind of don't care for. Oh, that's a new attack. You've never pulled that one on me before. I mean, you're dead either way. It just... Or a cane gun? I mean, that's true. You could get a cane gun. Incidentally, should I lose a leg, I want my leg bone fused and preserved, then made into a cane. Foot cane. Candy cane. <laughs> Look, we get it. You want someone to suck on your, your foot bone. We get it. That's fine. You can call it a candy cane if you want. That's probably not what it is. Oh, it's a bunch of the cult members. They pulled me out of the backstab animation and rapidly killed me. All right, well, sure. That's incredibly dumb. That's incredibly dumb. But that's fine. I was trying to get my XP back, but that's not a big deal. We'll go to this one and go get those other boxes. There's the, what, three or four other boxes that were on top of that, like, on top of one of these buildings over here. So, we can go get one of those, too. But, yeah, I, I would happily do a... That's how I'd ironically kill a diabetic. Stab with a candy cane? Wow. Brutal. The sugar really did kill him, yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure there's at least one Christmas horror movie that has that in there, right? Someone being killed with, a, like, a sharpened candy cane. Basically, like, legally required to have done that at this point. And there's at least, like, five or six horror, Christmas horror movies, so... Okay, so this guy should run up here and attack me. And there should be one more down at the bottom on the left. 
feels like FromSoft gets a lot of slack from critics, kind of like the same way Bethesda did with their bugs until Bethesda messed up big time and uh, Fallout 76. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, too much of the stuff that is bugs or lazy design is counted as, well, it's just designed to be hard. And it's like, no. Wait. Was this open before? Oh, yeah, we moved the elevator so you can get behind here. Okay, cool. Are you a mimic, though? You're not a mimic. What are you? I'm still waiting for the ice katana, by the way. Soul flash. Okay, it's a spell. Oh, ooh, and a ladder. Almost missed the ladder. It just takes us to a secret area. North warder... Hood, robe, manchettes, and trousers. A north warder. North warder? Whoop, that's not what I meant to do. That's fine. A what? Impre imperious helm. There's a party who long ago attempted to conquer the undead crypt. For this act of conceit, they will never rest in peace and instead serve as a crypt guardian. Huh. Don't remember that. Old bell. Helm forged from an ancient bell. Appears to be mere curiosity, but is in fact quite practical. The top of the helm provides significant defense. <laughs> okay. Way worse than the one we're wearing. But hey, we're Bellhead now. Frank D. Bellhead. Um. Oh. Hood of a Forsworn Sage. Forsworns ventured the god of war. Wait. Oh, venerated the god of war. And sages who led warriors into battle were called North Warders. North Warders earned their title only after completing a great journey of great hardship, after which they would be worshipped as oracles of the war gods. Ex extends duration of spell effects. Huh. Cool. I mean, unfortunately, it's probably inferior to this armor, but... Do we have anything that has more armor than this? No, we don't. This thing is literally the thing that has the most armor we've got for a helmet. Makes me wonder if if there will be a 76 m a moment for from for, for from soft. Well, I mean, Elden Ring launched with a lot of bugs, but none of them were nearly as bad as Fallout 76. No, Li Liberty Bell. No, Bell End. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of a Bell End. And yes, I know what that means. Yes, I do. I speak enough I speak enough British to know what that means. Very cheeky. Are you going to attack me? Your friends were attacking me. Are you not going to attack me? I mean, that's cool if you don't. I appreciate that. I really don't want to run around killing innocent people for no reason. Look at you talking all British. Yeah. Yeah. These guys are bollocks, but my great club is, is the dog's bollocks. From what I understand, that's the correct translation of that. It's the correct usage. Talking all British like and, and whatnot. Hey, Govna. <laughs> I absolutely have no British accent. Your homework is to use toss, toss pot in a sentence tomorrow and make it sound natural. Well, I don't stream tomorrow, so you won't know. Also, I have no idea what toss pot means. I would, I'd say it sounds like a, a, like a really angry person. IRL. Well, I could do that if you want. You'll figure it out. In my mind, it's like, oh, yeah, toss pot. Like someone who just gets really angry all the time. Like, calm down, toss pot. You're gonna break something. Not enough that we have like. Oh my god. What a stupid thing this is. I'm gonna go over here for a second. Like, I know a tosser. I just don't know what a. Really? My character diverted at the last second, huh? I kind of disagree with that ruling. That spell almost got me.
Apparently this guy saw enough. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> you win. No, 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 no. You don't get to leave now, idiot. You just die. You get to die. These screams are the scariest part of the module. I mean, they sound pretty intense, and I'm only hearing them from, like, a fifth of their actual loudness. Oh. A body. Ow. Repair power. Oh, come on. That was definitely a back attack. 100%. Yeah, these weird snow ninjas. Very odd. I guess that could... I guess that's a guy. I don't know why I was thinking it was a woman, but... They make me laugh? Yeah, that sounds right, Ikka. Ikka laughing at a thing that's terrifying? Yeah, no, that sounds exactly like an Ikka thing to do. What? It's terrifying? It makes people, like... Like, get goosebumps and shudder? I love it. I'm making it my new ringtone. Every time my my aunt calls me, bam! Crazy laughter. Or I guess crazy scream, not a laughter. But. Dang it, I don't remember where that other room was that had the frozen treasure chests. Wow, you were bad at your job, whoever you are. I know it's around here somewhere, I just don't remember where. Oh, come on, how is that not a backstab? It's like the epitome of a backstab. The, gra the goblin screams in Battle Brothers do as well, fair. I know it's on top of one of these. Oh, it's this. Okay, yeah. If you go that way, that's the way you're supposed to go. If you go this way, it dead ends. Um, but there's like three. There's like three of the ninjas up here. And one of the bigger ice golem guys. Oh, I guess that one doesn't want to fight me. Okay, well. Yeah, here we go. You. I'm gonna give you a pound and with my big bonker. Don't be a mimic. I forgot to check. Okay, not a mimic. Old radiant life gem. Okay. Also not a mimic. A soul vassal, which I think the soul vassals are the one that let you respec. I think. And we got two divine blessings. Oh, there you come. I don't know what you're doing, but now you're dead, idiot. Oh. Huh. Weirdly, it almost looks like I'm meant to go over there. Like I'm meant to jump down onto this and then go that way, but I don't think I can actually do that. I don't think we jump high enough. No, not even close. Oh, wait. Maybe over here? No, this just takes us down... ...to this body? Which has... ...three monastery charms on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. See, I was worried these things were going to be actual serious threats. But no, they've turned out to be very silly at best. Dark clutch ring. Okay, I guess it's a ring to resist the dark. Hmm. Okay, well. So wait, is this... What is this area? I don't think I've ever gone this way. There's an elevator. It takes us down? Interesting. I think I did find the base of an elevator that I couldn't summon before, but... Oh. It's... Ice pork pines? 
Oh, they have a very fast attack speed. Don't care for that. Wow. They have a like a five hit combo attack. Huh. All right. Well, I didn't expect that from the ice rats. Or porcupines or hedgehogs or whatever those are. But all right. Odd. <laughs> Very odd. Huh. Makes me wonder what happens if I would have gone that way before I killed the tiger. All right. But either way, it is now 4.01 p.m. It is now time to get on to some Metal Gear Solid.